Welcome to RK Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics Test Emission Co. 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3.4 and problem number 3.46. Determine the coordinate YC of the shaded area of the figure shown. The following dimensions are given A is equal to 150, B is equal to 25, C is equal to 50. That means here I can find a shape like this. Our interest is to find the centroid for this area. Some dimensions are given. So this is the bottom most one is given as the x-axis and this one is uh, given as the y-axis. So with reference to this x and y-axis, I, I would like to find the centroid. That I will divide this into three individual areas whose centroid is known to me that is equal to now with reference to that same x and y axis, so I will divide this into like this. This is area 1 and maybe this is area 2 and this is area. So the area 1 I have redrawn. What are the dimensions for this area 1? The bottom most one is A and the height is B. A value is given as 150. So A by 2, 75 and 75 height is equal to b that is 20 plus with reference to the same x y axis i am not changing the x y axis now i am taking this area 2 area 2 is here what are those dimensions the width is equal to 25 and this height is equal to 50 so height is equal to 50 and width is equal to 25 and this area is how much distance from this y axis how much is this distance and how much is this distance these distance are also you need to find to a by 2 minus b the total is a by 2 and this is b so this is a by 2 minus b a by 2 is 75 and b is equal to 25 so this is equal to 50 so this i represented here and what about this height this height is nothing but small b which is nothing but 25 so this height is equal to 25 plus the area 3 this is my area this area 3 once again the width is equal to 25 height is equal to 50 and this distance is also equals to a by 2 minus b that is equal to 50 and this height is also equals to 25 this is 50 and this is 20 so the given area i divided into three individual areas now for each area i will calculate area and centroid so i will form a table like this serial number area x bar y bar that is centroid for that area x coordinate and y coordinate then a into x bar and a into y bar this is the centroid because it is a rectangle the centroid is exactly at the center and this is the centroid for area 1 and x coordinate clearly we can see it is 0 so this height is equal to y1 and x coordinate is 0 so how much is this y1 y1 the total height is 25 this y1 is equal to 12.5 so area is equal to width is equal to 150 height is equal to 25 so 150 into 25 x coordinate is 0 y coordinate is 12.5 a into x bar is equal to 0 a into y bar that is equal to 3750 into 12.5 that is 46,800. take the second chord second area for the second area centroid is here now this is x2 the centroid distance x2 and this is the centroid distance y2 our interest is to find the value x2 and you know this distance is equal to 25 by 2 because it is exactly at the center and this distance is equal to 50 by 2. The total is height 50 and this distance is 50 by 2. But I want the distances from this axis. So x2 bar is equal to this is 50 plus 25 by 2. So for area 2, area is equal to 25 into 50 that is 1250 and this is towards the left side of the y axis. So it is a negative value and that's why it is minus of. 50 plus 25 by 2 which gives the value of 62.5 and the y coordinate is his positive side upwards is positive so it is 25 plus 50 by 2 which gives the value of 50. then a into x bar 1250 into minus 625 uh, 62.5 that is minus 78 uh, 78,125 similarly a into y bar you will get this value 62,500 now take the third area this is in the first quadrant only this is the centroid and this distance is x3 bar and this distance is y3 bar by extending the same concept this distance is you know 25 by 2 and this distance is 50 already known and this distance is equal to 50 by 2 x3 bar is equal to 50 plus 25 by 2 
and towards right side so it is positive third area 50 into 25 that is 1250 into 25 by that is 62.5 25 plus 50 by that is 50 so you will get the values like this. this is the table what we got from the previous the x coordinate equation x c is equal to the actual formula a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus so on up to a n x n by a1 plus a2 plus so on up to a n which is nothing but sigma a x by sigma a. So a x bar you already calculated add this which gives the sigma a x bar add this which gives the sigma a y bar add this which gives the value of sigma a it is 6250 which gives the value of 0 and a y bar add all these three which gives the value of x coordinate of the centroid is equal to sigma a x bar by sigma a which is nothing but 0 and the y coordinate of the centroid is sigma a y bar by sigma a that is 1,71,875 by 6250 that is 27.5 mm these two are the answers